I'm curious how many of you videographers out there also do photography. By the same token, how many photographers do videography? I think the latter is more common. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who were, you know, who are great photographers and they've made the transition and they're doing video because it makes sense for your work to do that. You know, you can take pictures and you can do video at the same time. Why not, right? I find it a little bit less so with videographers and filmmakers. And I'm not sure why. I feel like photography scares a lot of videographers. It shouldn't. It's very similar. It's the same principles. I got my start in photography back in 1991. And I shot with this camera, Pentax K1000. And in 2013 or 14, we got the Canon 6D to do films with. And the reason I got the 6D is I was more interested in doing video work than I was doing photography. Uh, it's a great camera, but the 5D Mark III at the time had more features uh, geared at photographers. So I went with the 6D because it was basically the same image for video. And, or at least at the time, at the time it was a good thing for me. So... Uh, made a couple of short films with it, made a documentary with it, and once I got the Blackmagic production camera 4K, I kind of retired the 6D, but I would take it out once in a while and take some pictures with it, um, like at Christmas time, at Thanksgiving and birthdays, you know, just kind of mess around and get back into, you know, taking stills with it. I realized that it was a great asset to have when I was forced into a full-time freelance uh, situation I started to realize I need to make money with a camera and you know why am I going to hire someone to do stills when I can do them myself so here's a couple of images that I took uh, during that time now the point was I made it an exercise you know if you're training for a race you go out and you run the miles every day and some miles are pretty ugly when you're starting. So I shot every day and I would take the time to set up a little still life studio in my living room or kitchen. So uh, here's some, you know, I love coffee. So here's some coffee shots that I did. I tried to do a different theme. This is painting with light. This is using a long lens. I think this is a 300 high shutter speed trying to capture. Uh, this is my favorite. My daughter threw a stick into the lake and I happened to capture that at the right time. Some portraits, some real estate. Went away for a weekend in the mountains, took some of these landscape pictures. I would encourage anyone who's thinking about getting into videography to study photography. Because if you can do both, then why not expand your job reach? Why not expand your skills? Um, one of the first paid gigs I got was taking pictures of you know a family. As a matter of fact, I'm, sh I'm shooting on the Canon 6D right now. So here's a little video to prove it. <laughs> there's the the Canon 6D right there. There you go. Another example of you probably don't need a new camera. Although I'm not going to lie, I would love to have one that has the autofocus because when I do this and this, it's kind of going in and out. If you got that camera, go out there and use it. If you're a videographer, learn photography. If you're a photographer, learn videography. Uh, it's great to have both tools at your disposal and it's always good to, you know, expand your horizons and expand your learning. So thank you so much again, everybody for watching. If you've made it this far, it really means a lot. And uh, let's go out there and shoot and make some art.